Every Manipulation Tactic Gaslighting Gaslighting is a manipulation tactic where the manipulator makes the victim question their reality, memories, or perceptions. This can be done through persistent denial, lying, misdirection, contradiction, and misinformation. For instance, a gaslighter might insist that a past event didn't happen, despite evidence to the contrary, or claim that the victim is overreacting to undermine their confidence. Over time, this creates a sense of confusion and self-doubt in the victim, making them increasingly dependent on the manipulator's version of reality. Emotional blackmail. Emotional blackmail involves using fear, guilt, and obligation to manipulate someone into doing what the blackmailer wants. The blackmailer typically threatens to punish the victim emotionally or withdraw love and support if they don't comply. For example, they might say, if you loved me, you do this for me, or threaten to leave if their demands are not met. This tactic preys on the victim's emotional vulnerabilities, forcing them to prioritize the blackmailer's needs over their own well-being. Guilt tripping. Guilt tripping is a tactic where the manipulator induces guilt in the victim to control their actions. This is done by highlighting the victim's perceived shortcomings or mistakes, often exaggerating or fabricating them to make the victim feel responsible for the manipulator's unhappiness or problems. Phrases like, after all I've done for you, or you don't care about me, are common. The aim is to make the victim feel so guilty that they comply with the manipulator's demands, often at the cost of their own needs. Triangulation. Triangulation is a tactic where the manipulator involves a third party to create tension, jealousy, or competition. This can happen in various relationships, such as romantic, familial, or professional. By comparing the victim unfavorably to someone else, or using another person to relay messages, the manipulator creates a sense of rivalry or insecurity. For instance, a manipulative partner might praise an ex to make their current partner feel inadequate. This strategy undermines direct communication and fosters dependence on the manipulator for approval. Isolation. Isolation is a tactic where the manipulator seeks to cut off the victim from their support network, including friends, family, and other sources of emotional support. This can be achieved through direct methods like forbidding contact or more subtle means, such as creating conflicts with loved ones or monopolizing the victim's time. By isolating the victim, the manipulator ensures that the victim becomes increasingly reliant on them for support and validation, making it harder for the victim to recognize the manipulation or seek help to escape the situation. Love bombing. Love bombing is a tactic where someone showers you with excessive affection, flattery, and attention to gain control over you. This can include constant compliments, extravagant gifts, or overwhelming declarations of love early in the relationship. The intent is to create a sense of dependency and loyalty, making you feel special and deeply attached. However, once the manipulator feels secure in their control, the intense affection often wanes, revealing their true intentions and leaving you emotionally vulnerable and more easily manipulated. Aggressive jokes. Aggressive jokes are seemingly humorous remarks that carry a hidden insult or criticism, allowing the manipulator to belittle you under the guise of humor. These jokes often target your insecurities or sensitive topics, making you feel self-conscious or inadequate. When confronted, the manipulator might dismiss your feelings by saying, it was just a joke, shifting the blame onto you for being too sensitive. This tactic undermines your self-esteem and makes it difficult to address the underlying disrespect or hostility in the relationship. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and continue watching to discover more on manipulation tactics. Projection. Projection is a psychological defense mechanism where the manipulator attributes their own undesirable traits, feelings, or behaviors to you. For example, if they are unfaithful, they might accuse you of being disloyal. This tactic deflects attention from their actions and places you on the defensive, making you question your own reality and actions. By projecting their faults onto you, the manipulator avoids accountability and can control the narrative, keeping you confused and off-balance. Playing the victim Playing the victim involves the manipulator portraying themselves as the aggrieved party to elicit sympathy and manipulate your emotions. They may exaggerate or fabricate stories of hardship, mistreatment, or injustice to gain your pity and support. This tactic can make you feel guilty for any perceived wrongdoing, even if you did nothing wrong. By casting themselves as the victim, manipulators divert attention from their own harmful behavior and shift the focus onto their supposed suffering, making it difficult for you to challenge them. Threats or coercion. 
Threats or coercion are overt forms of manipulation where the manipulator uses fear to control your actions. They might threaten you with physical harm, emotional distress, or negative consequences if you don't comply with their demands. This creates an environment of fear and anxiety, forcing you to act against your will to avoid the threatened repercussions. Coercion can be subtle or explicit, but its primary goal is to undermine your autonomy and force you into submission through intimidation. The Silent Treatment The silent treatment is a passive-aggressive tactic where the manipulator deliberately ignores you to punish or control you. By refusing to communicate, they create a power imbalance, making you feel isolated and anxious. This tactic exploits your need for connection and resolution, pressuring you to conform to their wishes to restore normalcy. The silent treatment can lead to self-doubt and desperation as you struggle to understand what you did wrong and how to fix it, ultimately giving the manipulator more control. Ghosting. Ghosting involves abruptly cutting off all communication without explanation, leaving you confused and hurt. This tactic is often used to avoid confrontation or responsibility in a relationship. By disappearing, the manipulator denies you closure and leaves you questioning what went wrong. Ghosting can cause significant emotional distress as you are left to grapple with the sudden loss and the lack of answers. This tactic reflects a lack of respect and empathy, making it a cruel and cowardly way to end a connection. Shaming Shaming is a tactic where the manipulator makes you feel deeply embarrassed or guilty about yourself or your actions. This can be done through direct criticism, sarcasm, or public humiliation. The goal is to undermine your self-worth and make you feel inferior. By instilling a sense of shame, the manipulator gains control over you, as you become more likely to conform to their expectations to avoid further embarrassment. Shaming erodes your confidence and can have long-lasting impacts on your self-esteem and mental health. Moving the goalpost. Moving the goalpost is a manipulation tactic where the requirements for success are continually changed to ensure that the other person can never meet them. Imagine you're told you need to complete a task in one hour to receive a reward. Once you finish, the manipulator then says, actually, it needs to be done in 30 minutes. This constant moving of criteria can frustrate and demoralize you, making you feel perpetually inadequate. It's like playing a game where the rules are always changing just to keep you from winning. Changing the subject. Changing the subject is a classic diversionary tactic used to avoid addressing a particular topic or question. When someone feels cornered or uncomfortable, they might abruptly steer the conversation in a different direction. For example, if you're confronting a friend about a broken promise, they might suddenly start talking about a funny story from work. This shift not only avoids the original issue but also disrupts your line of questioning, leaving the real matter unresolved and often forgotten. Playing on insecurities. Playing on insecurities involves exploiting someone's self-doubt to manipulate their actions or emotions. A manipulator identifies a person's vulnerabilities, such as their fear of rejection or inadequacy, and uses them to gain control. For instance, a colleague might hint that your work isn't up to par, knowing you're already anxious about your performance. This tactic can lead you to overwork, seek validation, or act against your better judgment, all to alleviate the manufactured sense of inadequacy. Infantilization Infantilization is the act of treating an adult as if they are a helpless child. This tactic undermines the person's competence and independence, making them feel dependent on the manipulator. For example, a partner might insist on handling all finances, claiming you're not capable of managing money. Over time, this can erode your confidence and self-sufficiency, creating a dependency that benefits the manipulator. It's a subtle yet powerful way to exert control by fostering a sense of helplessness and reliance.